actually we haven't really, you know, it, it actually we've tightened up like security and questions and screenings at airports and Maybe got, um, out. got <laughs> more of a plan of what to do and I think all of that has helped. And so um, we've got a plan in place. Hopefully we never ever have to see something here, but you know, I mean it doesn't we always think because we're way out here we won't, but we're not I mean we we can have it all here. We're not exempt. <laughs> yeah. And all the travel and people international traveling and a lot of the groups are sending like missionaries or whatever you want to say over and so it's it's a big possibility that we can get anything. You're welcome. Brenda? All right, so when we are doing this donning and doffing, there is printed up protocols that you will find in books throughout the facility. And you may not be the person going in, Mike not be the person that is going in, but he might be the only available body that can read these steps off to make sure that the nurse is putting the stuff on correctly, okay? So we all need to make sure that we at least take a few minutes to find where these books are in your department or where they can be found if you do not have one in your apartment. I doubt there's one in the kitchen, but find where there is one and take some time to look through it and read through the steps so that you might be the one that's reading the steps to the person, okay? Uh, if this does happen here, we will be um, s tapping on our staff, so to speak. Uh, we'll be running people <laughs> through and we're gonna have limited amounts of hands and it might be you the one that's filling in to help, okay? So, when and if and when this does happen, you will find the protocol in the book and you will read these steps exactly how they are. And this is what the CDC does recommend that we do step by step to make sure that we do not skip any spot that we would make a hiccup that we would infect our employees, okay? So, I'm the observed trainer. Here's my nurse that's going to be helping me out. Um, I'm going to read these steps out loud because that's what we are instructed to do so that we don't <coughs> miss something. Um, use checklists to confirm steps and ensure safe, safety to verify integrity and of the assembly. Um, no exposed hair, skin, or nails should be visible at conclusion of donning. Remove personal clothing items. No personal items, jewelry, ring, watches, cell phones, pins uh, should be brought into the patient rooms. Recommend to drink a bottle of water or sports drink prior to donning. So I'm making sure she's taking off her. I got my. Oh, okay. okay, so you'll I'll see like when Tammy gets fully garbed, all the stuff she has on, and you're thinking she's in this room and her juices are flowing and her adrenaline's flowing anyway, and how much heat that she's going to experience. I hope I don't, I don't oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, visually inspect PPE prior to dying. So she needs to check her gloves to make sure there's no holes, no rips, tears in any of her um, outerwear. So, and as I unfold my uh, little uh, suit, I'll look at it, so. Okay. I, I did get packs made with, and they're in a tub, and all we have to do is decide where we want to keep the tubs. Okay. But there's PPE ready to throw on, not throw on, because you have to take your time, but there Before is all in one general area. Perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Allow hands to dry before moving to next step. Okay, next is inner gloves. Put on the first pair of gloves. These are normal exam gloves. If her hands were dry, they go on slip. Plastic bags over shoes. And the reason we do plastic bags over the shoes, they did a little webinar when the first patients came back with Ebola, and their diarrhea output could be up to four liters a day, oh. four to twelve liters a day. Yes, a so, diarrhea. A diarrhea. So you can imagine how much can be on the floor. Tape using duct tape around the top of the bags onto scrubs to ensure no leakage. Which, if you were doing this in reality, you go all the way around. Yeah. 
yeah, leave a tab so that it can be pulled easily. Which she'll show you the whole tab. Our tape ripper extraordinaire. So she'll make a tab so that it pulls off easily. Okay. Coveralls. Make sure the cuffs of inner gloves are tucked under the sleeve of coveralls and don your coveralls. Please. And we're seeing on look at your coveralls to make sure they're all good. Lunch now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go lunch. Where's your chance? <laughs> 
lunch today, we'll be Thanks. having grilled bats. <laughs> Okay. 